rugby league club um, where we where we came from is we we wanted we originally were created because we wanted to um, you know make make a bit of a transformation at the uni and sort of get get kids involved whether it be on the field playing footy or you know off the field just sort of have have something that you know we could do apart from just getting pissed that the various res events we kind of wanted to just create something for the community um, and just sort of start developing a bit of a spirit and a, a culture and a community like a yeah community at UC. The idea came about in 2008. Um, a few of the guys that lived on Ascot, one of the residences, um, they they raised the idea and it was sort of thrown around with sort of, you know, typical sort of enthusiasm initially, but then when it came down to doing, creating the club, it um, sort of looked like it might have flopped. And we, we really want to keep our club as, you know, really representing UC and um, something that, you know, the UC kids are proud of, whether they're playing or whether they're just coming to watch, you know, something that, you know, that people can really get behind it. And, you know, it's only early days, but... Hopefully, you know, over the next sort of five years or so, like we'll sort of take off and get you know hundreds of people to every game. We we'll spend a solid um, two or three months from January up till March um, every day, sort of doing everything from sponsorships to just creating the club and sort of creating a brand, so that when the kids got back to uni, that you know it was as if this football team had existed for for years, but it sort of you know it had all just sort of blossomed out of little idea. Clarence has a um, lot to do with the success and the growth of the club. He um, he was around from the first week that we came up with the idea. We we um, thought that a, a character might help when we were sending around our messages. Um, you know, you have a bit of an identity and a bit of fun and so that sort of immediately the cows were associated with something a bit ridiculous and and then I think from the first o week when he, he arrived off the boat from China, he um, he sort of had a lot of fun at UC and a lot of people have gotten to know him. He's a bit of a socialite. He's, I think he's got in excess of a thousand Facebook friends. Well, I think if you haven't seen Clarence, um, you obviously spend way too much time in the library or you never come to class. I think everyone knows Clarence. There is a lot of effort required by the students. Obviously, any club or society is run solely by their committee members. Um, so, you know, they have to have everything from a treasurer, a president. They have to organise sponsorship for a sporting club. They're in charge of all their equipment, um, you know, making sure of trainings. So there's, there's a lot of responsibilities on the students and I think the group of students that are there now are doing a really good job with the club. Cows event, um, just along the same lines. Like we, our initial goal was yeah to be able to sit up on the hill and watch watch the cows play, like with a, a hill full of students. You know, just having a nice day out in the sun, a few drinks, and you know, watching the team win a game. 